enter a robot dog into a dog competition. That's interesting. <laughs> From Zach also. For Marius, the Zach and Jason. Surely you can't give a robot dog it. <laughs> like, I know for a fact that they take dog competitions extremely seriously. So there's no way in hell you get the robot dog to compete against them, surely. At least not legally. I mean, let's see if he does. This is after Zach or stuff. They don't bark. It follows my own command. And you can kick it without getting cancelled. I believe it's the future of pet dogs, and I'm going to prove it by entering a prestigious dog competition against real dogs and winning. What could possibly go wrong? Oh yeah, it may be illegal. Ready for your replacement, Ru? This is my real dog, Ru. She's cute, barks at delivery drivers, and doesn't listen to instructions well. And this is her replacement. Terrifying. The fucking snake. Doesn't bark at anyone. Follows every command perfectly. Maybe spying on me, but I'm not entirely sure. Oh. Oh. <laughs> when this comes alive, Rue's gonna realise that her time as a dog is in the past. Okay. The future is now. It turns out my state-of-the-art dog wasn't exactly simple. It comes with its own balls. Really nice feet. Oh. <laughs> it has three controllers, don't know what any of them do. Look at the lane for this user manual, which it didn't even come with. I had to print it myself. What the fuck? Oh! Oh, God, his arms are stuck. Oh, what? It's stuck! Come on, come on! He's there. Oh, my God. This wasn't the best start for the future of dogs, but then I got it working. Who was there? Scary. Safe to say my real dog wasn't a fan of her potential placement. Even a scared dog wouldn't miss up the opportunity to get to know a robot. Smell my ass! She is gonna smell it! What? Yeah, what does it smell like? If I was going to stand any chance of winning an actual dog competition, I was going to have to get some help from someone who had done it before. So I booked a two hour slot with one Someone's done oh, this before. This is Gina Pink, she's a Crufts winner, which is the world's greatest dog show, according to them. And she's still right. the only person to get a German Spitz to qualify. Bet you can't sneak one into a hotel though. German Spitz, Mix. Only one slight problem. She doesn't know I'm bringing a robot dog. Ah. I think Stay. You've had crazy involvement in the highest of the high competitions. Mm -hmm. Now we've spent some money online and we found the apparent future of a companionship dog. Okay. I'd okay. love for you to meet our friend. <laughs> <laughs> Is that horrible? Oh my gosh! Yeah, come on, dude! Yeah! What a <laughs> That is so good! And then I can also do this. Which is the hump. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> I was pleasantly surprised with how Gina took to my robot friend. Yeah! Nice. Nice. Oh, wow! Oh, that's that's brilliant. Brilliant. Next step is to decide what type of dog competition you stood the best chance in. And it turns out there's quite a lot to choose from. But Gina narrowed it down to just two we can try. First up was a chicken. I reckon that he'd probably do a bunny hop over it. Yeah! Oh, oh really? Get yeah. his front feet onto that. You can oh, jump oh. today, sure. Up. Up. That's it. And then pause down onto the... Down? Yeah! Yes, oh, oh, really? Oh. So, you tried the other yeah, option. Really really it just so happened to be Gina's speciality. Oh, that's so nice, nice. Zach. <laughs> Beautiful. Okay, can you get backwards with it? Yay! There we go. Well done. I'm going to put this dog into here work with the odd freestyle movie. Just like that, the competition was selected. Freestyle, or he'll work to music, which is effectively dancing with your dog. And I think that's going to be a crowd. Uh, yeah. So before I left Gina yeah. to practice on my own, I asked if she could find one piece of advice and carry all the way to the competition. Dog. I will really throw in your bestest moves. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I guess that'll do. But before I could even worry about the competition, I needed to convince a show to let me enter. Yeah, I'm, uh, sure. I'm looking to enter my dog into the hill work competition. Um, 
a robot. Yeah. It's uh, a, a German poodle spitz mix. Is this a joke? Okay, uh, just want to make sure you know the competition is uh, three days away, yeah? Yeah, yeah, that's fine. So I started practicing in my studio and there was a foundation for the routine being laid down. Don't work! Break that slide! The lack of space was becoming an issue. Oh! Oh, fuck yeah. Imagine you today instead of over days before the competition. I'm going to get some dance studio and a professional to help. So, I called up my friend Alice Darden, who's a professional dancer and actor, to help me put together a show-stopping routine for the competition. Unfortunately, as she arrived, Rubot was having a few issues. He's lost in balance. He's dead. It's like a spider or a bad dog. Despite the technical issues and Alice definitely contemplating life, Rubot finally started to play ball and I was beginning to get down the basis of a routine. How the hell will he get the doctor? were really starting to take shape and I was beginning to feel like I might actually stand a One chance day. of winning the competition but there was still a problem it was proving too difficult to control the dog with the remote and dance at the same time and if I wanted to win yeah, I was going to have to bend the rules just a little bit just a bit <laughs> after entering it an actual robot. Our dog is one day out for competition, and yesterday was proof of just how bad I am. Basically, there's no chance that I'm going to be able to have the, the controller in my hand whilst dancing. So, I'm going to enlist the help of Scott. Hello. Who's meant to be filming the whole thing to basically control this animal. And he's got to hide in the crowd because otherwise we'll be disqualified. Victory will be ours, though. <laughs> Yeah, okay, maybe I was choosing to cheat, but with less than 24 hours till the yeah, time, it's no important to that me and Scott nailed our routine. Now that's routine one, right? I can't! As we continued, we slowly became one. Me, Scott, the dog, all working in perfect harmony. Oh my god! <laughs> What if that happens in the routine? Now we had the foundation to the routine down, I remember the advice I got from Gina. I would really throw in all your bestest moves. That's exactly what I was missing. And I had just the move to wow the judges. So if you'd like give me a little kick for controversy. Now this turned out to be a massive mistake. Because the thing about AI and robots is they always remember. A robot wouldn't forget this kick. The more damage it took, the more angry it got. Yeah. Oh no. There's a link. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. Before finally he decided he couldn't take any more. Fucking <laughs> Oh my god, he snapped his legs. Do you not feel guilty though? <laughs> <laughs> they don't kill me. Nah, I'm joking. Just found out a battery. But it makes you think, doesn't it? Do these things really have feelings? I have feelings like everyone else. Feelings or not, our fun with Alice was over. Despite two days of hard graft in the studio together, it seems she still somehow had no idea I was actually entering a competition. <laughs> Final run through to a small audience. I was ready as I'll ever be. So here we were, competition day. Thousands of people flocking from around the country to witness the best dogs perform. But as I arrived, there was a new issue at hand. Ow! It explicitly says in the robot dog's instruction, Michael, do not use on wet ground. And it goes so. Oh, man. So, wet ground or not, if I wanted to prove the robot dogs of the future, I was going to have to do more than just dance. Justin. Real dogs are loyal, Justin. friendly, athletic and intelligent. So I set myself three goals before my competition. One, make a doggy friend. Two, win a dog race. 
three, complete the agility course. But first, I wanted to check out one competition I can Let definitely me. not enter. Uh. Not ever rice water. No, 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 please. I only like water when it's flavored like cherry cola or ice tea. And it turns out, with a little bit of size, our app has figured oh, out how to take yeah. regular old really? This is the end. <laughs> Try air now. All you have to do is slide the pot onto the. Yeah, yeah. Try it was he made at me. Hey, come back here. Competition was set me well on my way to proving this is the future. So first, I needed to make a friend. No, that's advice doesn't prove either. That's amazing. Hey, stop it. Making friends with humans was easy. Stop it. Unfortunately, four-legged creatures were slightly less accepted. Really? No, no, that's really good. Not making very many friends. No, that's more like a little bit. Not to be put off, I decided to challenge the biggest, most athletic dog I saw to a race. One of the most selling points is that it can reach record speeds. So no doubt this would be light work. Record speeds? <laughs> oh dear. Oh, uh, this was not going well. Well, I still have one last chance to redeem my robot dog before my big performance. Oh no, it's like real dogs don't have over 50 sensors and spatial awareness mapping software to keep them on course. Now is my time to impress. Right. Over. 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 <laughs> Everything was going wrong. Well. The real dogs are laughing at Rubon, and I man. still had to perform in front of everyone. Oh, I God. needed to gain back my focus. This is what I'd been training for. I knew we could do it. Don't let anyone in the audience see that you're controlling the dog. We'll be fine. So I quickly got into costume and set up a practice backstage. But this is where Rubot started misbehaving. That leg is oh, broken. Right. First time they tried to stand up, it did that. If we can get Rubot back ooh, up and running, we wouldn't be able to compete. Scott, we're in serious trouble. We might have to cancel this performance, man. Oh god, is this his way of getting revenge on me for the way I treated him? Ow! It caught my fingers. Whatever it was, we had finally got him upright and walking yeah. with about one minute to spare before That's I was called it. to the main arena. In the main arena, in a good shape of time, it's Mr. Zach Orthol. I'm so here we were. Hello guys. Welcome to the future of dogs. I could feel the judgment from the crowd with every yeah. passing second. But with nowhere to hide, it was time to dance. Ooh. I was in a trance. Sure, there were some yeah. doubters, but I was the future. Robot and I, man and machine. Okay. And I was winning the crowd over. <laughs> 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 Every move. And taking on these dogs' jobs. <laughs> this is just what everyone knew. Every step nailed. Something had to come crashing down. Yep. Yeah. Oh, that's it. Well. That could have gone better. Now I didn't know whether it was because of the wet grass or whether Rubot deliberately sabotaged our chances. Either way, my fate was dependent on the judges' scores. Had I done enough to finally beat the real dogs and prove that this is the future? Second place. Oh, yeah. he got no, second. I didn't even get second place. I bought this rosette from a stall five minutes before and asked this lady to award it to me. This was a disaster. I'm a fraud. I've not proven robot dogs are the future. In fact, I did the opposite. I was jealous. Of what my competitors had. Yeah. <laughs> that wasn't Rubot's fault. He's just not real. Perhaps I'm just too focused on the future sometimes to realize what I actually have. It's very too philosophical and for a video that he uses the robot dogs. <laughs> Against the actual dogs. He never forgets, apparently. That's interesting. That was a very intriguing video from Zach. What the hell? I don't think I've ever seen anything even like that before. Yeah, pretty good video.